All right, Mr. Customer, uh, Steve Hutchinson, Enterprise Data Protection Account Executive here in New England. Great to have you out here today, and thank you for taking the time to meet with us. Today, myself and my team really want to talk to you about data protection for VMware, something that's critical for you guys. We know VMware is a big piece of your environment and your application set today, so we want to make sure that we can help make those backups continue to become more simple, more scalable, more easy for you. So to start, I want to talk to you a little bit about how Dell EMC has already been helping their customer for years. We actually, first off, look at the speed of our backups, right, and how quickly we're hitting those windows. Each year we do about an assessment of 23,000 or so environments, and from an objective standpoint, we found that actually 85% of our VMware backups are happening in under 30 minutes, right? We're hitting backup windows, which is crucial for you guys. Second, we're making things simple and easy, right? We want to make sure that we're helping the VM when I'm out. When they come to work every day, they don't want to worry about data protection. They want to focus on creating new virtual machines, creating new applications that are actually going to help grow and invest in the business. So what we want to do is make sure the backup can be something that's quick, easy, and scalable as they start to grow in their environment. And we'll talk about that today. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you about a little bit of a market inflection point that we see from Dell EMC in terms of storage and how backup coincides with that. So in a traditional sense, you'd have your storage array, right? And your hypervisor would be separate. Now what we're starting to see is customers looking more towards a software defined data center to be able to grow with the business on demand. So leveraging things like EMC scale IO, scale out software, scale out storage, vSAN, et cetera. Those things are becoming at the forefront of our customer's mind where they want to get out of the traditional storage array business and be able to consume things in a much easier sense from a software standpoint. So when we look at that, that also means that we need to change our backup environment, right? Traditionally, what we would do is you'd have your traditional backup and it would be integrated within the storage array, right? So customers would try to protect their virtual environment, but they'd see complexity. And oftentimes, the traditional softwares in our competitor sense couldn't keep up with backing up all these virtual machines and all these machines. So what we've done is we've realized that the SAN transport, which is that typical kind of array-based snapshot protocol that customers would do to kind of alleviate the pain of not being able to back up their virtual environment, called a Band-Aid fix, is no longer being used, right? It's disappearing. So we need to make sure that customers can actually integrate with these software-defined data centers and focus on more of a hypervisor-based backup. Happening, everything happen at the VMware level without having to worry about data protection software on the back end and all the complexities that come with our competitor softwares like that. So again, what we're trying to do here is make sure that we can make things management easier, right? Less complexity and less resources. And when we talk about that, that's where backing up the software-defined data center in VMware is going to be a big key point for us. Matter of fact, not to get too into the weeds, but we actually realized that things like V proxies, which is really the, the worker B, that's the quarterback of backups that's helping to actually kick off the backups and handle all the streams. Our competitors actually need 2x the amount of virtual proxies or media servers to be able to keep up with our backups of VMware. Again, coming back to being fast, simple, and efficient. So let's get into a sense of how we can help automate things for you. So from a traditional VMware backup sense, right, this is the process that we would look at. You have your VM image, you might you know, kick off a VM on a server, you can add it into a policy, right, a backup policy. We're not the only ones doing that. That's kind of table stakes at this point. Every one of ours and our competitors that want to play a market in this game, they actually have to be able to do that, right? So we have that and our competitors have that as well. But where we start to get into differentiating ourselves and helping our customers where our competitors cannot is really the latter half of this process. So as we mentioned before, you have your vProxies or media servers, that's really the ones that are kicking off the backups using a lot of the compute and memory. A challenge for our customers has been how many vProxies and how many media servers do you have to roll out before it starts to become time consuming, costly, effective, and just overall complexity is going on in that situation. So what we're able to do is with our virtual software, whether it be Avamar or Networker, we've actually changed to a virtual proxy process where everything is automated, right? So we can actually look at our backups, look at how many backups we're doing, how long these backups are taking, and what we do in the back end is we have intelligent software that's able to monitor the CPU and the usage and how many vProxies we need, streamlining that for our customers so that we know that you're only using the resources necessary. Our competitors don't have anything like this, right? They still need to roll out multiple media servers. They still need to roll out more vProxies than us, and they have to manually monitor this. So as their environments start to scale and grow and you have this data sprawl of backups, they have to continuously, continuously monitor this environment, which becomes labor intensive. And again, that's what we want to get our customers and our VMware admins is specifically out of that business. We want to make things simple and easy. 
And lastly is our protection storage. So with things like data domain, we've completely integrated our software and our hardware stack to make it easier for you. So when we look at rolling up things like data protection as a service, a catalog type feature to be able to offer data protection as an actual chargeback and giving your business revenue, we can do that with our hardware in the back end. With data domain, we can do multi-tenancy. So as you roll out a VM, you can split it, workload A across all three data domains. You can split across two data domains, or you can have it sequentially fill up each data domain to make sure that you guys are maximizing the resources. The whole point though is again, you're not having to monitor that. When you create a VM, your admins don't have to worry about allocating storage on the back end to this, right? It's just automatically gonna recognize that. So from the start of a virtual machine being created to backing it up ultimately at the end and restoring, everything is automated through VMware, making your VMware's lives admins easier and making it almost second nature to protect virtual machines. So just to recap, live Dell EMC for data protection of VMware, RESTful APIs, right, we have integrated fully with the VMware environment. We've proven to do this um, with softwares like Avamar. We've been doing this since 2006. This isn't new to us. We're continuously coming out with new APIs to help our customers back up more efficiently and easy, right? On mass performance, we have white papers to back this up. But as I mentioned, with our software and data domain matched up, we're able to back up extremely fast, 85% of backups in under 30 minutes. Seamless plugins, so whether it be within a use vSphere, any other VMware environments that need easy plugins, we can do that on the fly. And then making data protection as a service a reality, right? So being able to show your business units that you can actually efficiently do these things like chargebacks so that IT is not just seen as a cost bit, but an actual business enabler, we can do that with all of this foundation. So to wrap it up, again, Steve Hutchinson, uh, Dell and EMC, Enterprise New England, would love to come out and have a deeper conversation with you guys around data protection for VMware. Thank you.